Before you upload your database, there is one more thing that we need to do to make sure everything is set in your database to be shared over the internet. If you have already set your security settings and extended privileges, you can skip this step, but it does not hurt to review. First, open your database in FileMaker Pro and navigate to the menu, File, Manage, and then Security. This will bring you to the Accounts window. FileMaker requires that at least one user have full access to the database and will prompt you to set a password for the admin user. Once you have done this, you can manage the levels of security assigned to each user and add or remove them from the same window. Navigate into Detailed Setup to view more options. From this screen, you will also be able to add users. This is very similar to the basic setup when adding users. You can edit the password, require a password change, and add an optional description. Once these accounts are set up, you can make any changes you need to from this window by selecting the Edit button. Now that we have our full access account, we now have to make sure that we give that user the access we want to the database. From the Manage Security window, select the Privilege Sets tab. Here you will see the privilege set that we used called Full Access. Click on this item and click the Edit button. Most users will only need to select the Access via FileMaker Network FMAPP this will give this user the ability to open the database using the Open Remote option in FileMaker Pro. You can now close the Manage Security window by clicking the OK. It may ask you for the credentials that you just set in order to verify the security settings that you established. You are now ready to upload your database for hosting. Before uploading the database, you need to make sure that the database is not open in FileMaker Pro. Please close the database or quit the application before uploading.